I just want to say, and be wrongfully accused. Hey, man, wrongfully accused, brother. Wrongfully. And be wrongfully accused for this crime. And who are my family, brother? Yo, my people, who want to know? Look on a brother here. Him named Marco Vidal. The most dangerous police in Belize. You understand? No. His nephew is Elmana. The man who accused, the policeman who accused of killing the two brother then. The wildlife fishery conservationists. And them wife shoot them up, kill the two brother and one of them wife. And the other lady survive. And Elmana and the police boy when I talk about this I'm uncle. And yo, I tell you now, this man, him go at the store right beside Elmena, him nephew house. And I talk to the woman, the Chinese woman who own the, the, the store. And like him, I intimidate her. And not only that, him I talk in a Spanish. Now, like me say, him nephew charged for the New Year's killing of the two brother them. You understand? Plus the drugs playing, plus a whole bunch of things. So that, that, that police boy uh, was a big time police boy. Him just stepped down. But him still bigger him run Belize. Now, this is female wife, Vidal wife. She is the attorney general. She's like Paula Llewellyn in Jamaica, in her Belize. Yo, listen to this. Me I tell you about Belize, you know. I mean, no people are listening. I said, boy, country man, but listen to this. Yo, it make the ear at the back of your neck. Stand up. Watch this, yo. Security cameras of this Miami pan shop captures former ACP Marco Vidal and two other men walking in. Vidal approaches the shop owner and introduces himself and proceeds to ask the woman permission to review the security footage of a specific date, December 31, specifically between the hours of 6 and 10, when it is believed that the accused murderer Elmer Na, nephew of Marco Vidal, in cold blood murdered John and David Ramnerez and shot Yemi Alberto and Vivian Belial Ramnerez, who succumbed recently. While the shop's cameras captured the interaction, Vidal secretly records the conversation. It's in Spanish. La policía no le dio por ser si eh, tienen alguna cosa que eh, grabar o algo así. No. Eso no, no lo podríamos revisar solo para confirmar. ¿Qué quieren encontrar ahí? Queremos saber si quién es el que andaba por aquí. Como entre las 6 a las 10 por ahí. Then Vidal reminds the woman of her murdered husband. Usted fue víctima de una persona que entró aquí, ¿verdad? No. Cuando atentaron en la ciudad. Sí, mataron a mi esposo. Mm. Entonces, su, 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 ¿cómo se llama? ¿Se mantiene en 24 horas? Sí, a las tres semanas. Em, creo que borra. Tres o dos semanas. Mm. Borra. ¿Y agarraron a alguna persona en frente de eso? Sí, está detenida. Ah, okay. Entonces, pues yo no sé si podríamos revisarlo solo para ver. ¿Quién andaba en esa, en esa hora así? Lo que pasa es que las cámaras están en mi cuarto mm. y mi hija está durmiendo. Mm. Solamente si estoy en mi cuarto, no está. ¿Para qué vas a hacer? No sé, pero no, no, pues vamos a estar de día. ¿Pero qué es lo que quieren encontrar ahí? Esa es la cosa, queremos saber qué es lo que hay, porque no sabemos, porque es supuestamente un vehículo, pero no sé, una persona quizás camina por aquí. O regresaron, no sabemos. Y es lo que quisiéramos confirmar. 
Beben más tarde. Más o menos que dos. Como tipo dos de la tarde. Senior counsel Godfrey Smith has been hired by Vidal and says that his client did not return to the store. Vidal with Smith visited the Bamapan police station to be interviewed. We are told that he was being sought for perverting the course of justice. Smith describes Vidal's conversation with the woman as normal, quiet and gentle and says that there was no attempt to have anything deleted or any sort of pressure or intimidation of any kind. In a statement, Vidal says that around midday on Saturday 14, 2023, we stopped by a shop. This shop is located a few feet away from the Chinese store that is next to Elmer Nas house. And while Vidal remains free of any charge tonight, it is expected investigators will pursue this case. If this happens... Now, when you hear that, if that is not intimidating witness and outright corruption, I don't know what it is. But... As you see, Belize is not a place to F with. When it comes to the police, them, them is totally out of control. Bigger Ford, Trinity, Adams, all of them corrupt Jamaican, Ranko Gang police them. Them not have nothing upon them police and I believe. In I believe are drugs playing the police them now. Now there's another video that I'm going to make after this with the opposition leader and the opposition party talking. I'm going to play a little bit of clip of it. But in the meantime, remember, my name is Countryman and I'm the great countryman. And remember to like, share and subscribe. And remember, tell a friend, tell a friend. But listen to a little bit of what the opposition is saying. And I'm out. But Belize is sad. Right now, all of Belize is sad because of this tragedy or because of what happened. What we at the Belize Progressive Party are calling for is let's have like a complete audit of the police department so that we could weed out the bad cops and keep the good cops. We are losing young Belizeans. We are losing bright Belizeans. These two people are involved in conservation, which brings in millions of dollars to our uh, country. They have contributed a lot to Belize on a whole, the fisheries officer and the conservation officer out at Turnif, and of course, uh, the brother as well. But we are saddened that this, these kinds of tragedies are happening in a small country like Belize. We are less than 400,000 people. I mean, you look at, look at other countries in this region or in the world that have a population similar to ours, and you see, you will see that our crime rate is far higher than those other countries. I am going to upload the full speech that this man make, but the man is saying exactly what I am saying. Something needs to be done. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and click on the notification button. My name is Countryman. I'm out.